How's it going guys? Slippy Jim here. Welcome back to my Intergalactic Adventure series here on modded Minecraft 1.6.4. We did a bit of tinkering in the last episode uh, and actually built this pretty awesome weapon, the cleaver. And this specializes in uh, beheading. Uh, plus I've added a beheading modifier on this. You can see I've also got a sharpness going um, and some life steal, which I thought would be pretty cool. But to get another level on this, um, actually I think we do have a level available. Let me just check this. We have one modifier remaining on this, so I'm going to do something with that so that it uh, will be able to recharge instead of repaired, because it is made uh, with a blade of manual, uh, which is really, really rare and hard, uh, hard to make and expensive and stuff like that. Since the last episode as well, you guys can see I've been busy here and uh, basically split these these long single tags into double tags so that I can fit twice the types of material because these hold quite a lot of material. You can see here that's like pretty much 30,000 mega buckets in one of these uh, double tanks from open blocks. So uh, we've got a whole lot of different materials here. This is almost all of the available molten liquids for Tinker's Construct uh, and except for two or three that I'm probably not going to be using too much if at all. So uh, yeah, pretty good setup here now. I can now basically just flick a switch to feed this stuff into the smelter like that. And uh, then I'll have the liquid uh, ready to go for whatever I want to do with it. And uh, then I can just uh, flick this switch up here. I'll just make sure that switch is off again. And that will feed whatever I've got in there into whichever tank it belongs in uh, automatically, which is pretty awesome. So I've got some obsidian going in there. I should have the copper going back in there, and uh, when it's done, it will um, basically go off like that, and this should be empty. So it's a really good setup, guys. It's going to work super well for this mod. But what we're going to do in this episode, guys, is we are going to be uh, getting some Wither Skeleton Skulls uh, with the aim of getting some Nether Stars happening, because to get a final modifier on these tools, once you've pretty much used up all the other modifiers, uh, you basically, you basically do need a nether star, and uh, that's what we're going to be trying to get. You guys know how hard it is to get with the skeleton skulls normally. There's a couple of ways I can actually get nether stars with the mods that I've got at the moment, uh, but uh, we're going to be going through this. Now, also since last episode, I've actually made another pulverizer, uh, and uh, because look how slow these pulverize the ore. Uh, so I need a bunch of these type of things. And then over here, I've got the induction furnace. So if I apply this redstone signal with a switched on lever, um, that keeps the heat at 100%. And look how fast this thing is. Um, really, it just is sitting there waiting for the, the ores to get pulverized. Um, so these things are holding up the process a bit. And uh, because of that, I've built a rotary macerator. Uh, this seems to be almost twice as fast as one of these things. So I might actually build a bank of these, like four or six, depending on how many I need to keep keep everything flowing nicely. Because you can see here from our quarry oh, in the deep dark, yeah, right. uh, if I check how much ore I've got, I've got like tons of ore just sitting there uh, on the queue waiting to be turned into ingots. So it's, uh, it's quite frustrating that this is like got a bottleneck here yeah. now in processing yeah. this. Not that it's a huge big deal because if I if I go for ingots, I've got tons of these as well. You can see I've got 10,000 tin ingots and stuff like that. So, um, But I just like to have things running efficiently so I don't have the ores getting backed up. So yeah, I'll show you how this works. Basically with this rotary macerator, uh, once you put in some ore into this thing, like here we put in some ore. Uh, where do I put this? Mm, I still haven't really worked out exactly how the ins and outs of how this thing works. Oh, I haven't had that turned on. So that'll take a while to get up to the maximum rotary speed. So it's sort of like this, except instead of having the heat build up, um, it has the speed, like it, it whirls up the speed of the rotary, whatever's the power, its function. And it goes up to about five or 600 RPM, which seems to be pretty fast. And I think it has to hit that before it starts, before it starts, um, Oh, maybe the aluminium doesn't work, actually. Let's get another type of ore. Not sure. It, I might have to directly smelt that. We used a good old copper ore. Just so you guys can see, I just put a little bit in there. 
Um, got a bunch of stuff here because I was smelting up some stuff in the smeltery. Okay, so if we chuck this copper ore in there now, what that does is um, it turns it into this stuff, crushed ore, instead of a dust or a pulverized ore, uh, it turns it into the crushed copper ore. But that works exactly in the same way in a in any kind of furnace in turning it into ingots. So that's that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's about twice as fast. So I'll probably make a bank of these things. And uh, even though they use a continuous amount of power, um, it's not very much. So that should help us get things moving along. The other thing with my quarries is... If I look at the diamonds now, I had about 12 or 13 diamonds left in the last episode. So you can see we've obviously hit the diamond zone in my quarry. It might be getting close to bedrock by now. So um, I can probably tell if I look for um, basalts. We've got 21,000 of that. It's pretty hard to tell. Oh, this is still ticking up here, I noticed. Or is it going down maybe? So we might even hit have hit bedrock, but what we'll do is we'll sort that out in the next episode, and I might move one of those quarries. i turn the other quarry back on, and uh, I'll move the other quarry to somewhere in the overworld, because there's another uh, mod that I want to make, which is like this thing, the ancient star from Biomes of Plenty. And you can see these are all jewel types, and there's a few of these that I don't have. Like I discovered the other day, um, when I was mining with my drill, um, there was something called Tanzanite, which in real life, I've actually been to Tanzania where this uh, is found, the only place where this is found in real life. But I was like, oh, what's this? I didn't think there was this in the game. But um, in fact, this is a Biomes of Plenty um, type of uh, gemstone. And the, the other thing I need, I think, is Topaz. And there might be Malachite as well. So I don't have any Topaz. And I think that's found in around Bedrock uh, level in places like Jungles and that specifically. Um, the other thing is Malachite. And I'm not even sure, this is another ore, I'm not sure where this is found either, but hopefully we get some of that, because we'll need all of that to complete that stuff. But that's for a future episode as well, guys. What we're going to be doing today, like I said, is we're going to be heading into the nether. Let me just chuck some of this stuff out that I've got. What I was actually going to try and make is some, uh, I think it's called... Alumite? So I was actually making up some obsidian for that. Um, oh, I got this. We might quickly make some of that. I'll put that down and feed some obsidian into the smeltery here. And I'll just make a few ingots of this. So, just to test this out, I'll just make, say, two ingots of this. Actually, I'll make four. We'll make a double recipe if you like. One more. And let's just chuck that back in to the tank. So according to um, the little guidebook that we have, where is it? This one here tells us the ores. Uh, for alamite, which is pretty good uh, for mining, um, five aluminium, two iron, and two obsidian. So... Let's see, I'll just turn this off. And five aluminium, two iron, wasn't it? One, two, three, four, five aluminium. Actually, I was making a double recipe. One, two, three, four, five, four obsidian, and I need four iron I think it was so let's stick this in here hopefully that's the right proportions let me just check this five two and two so when all this is melted the obsidian takes the longest it should turn into alamite for me I was going to melt this other stuff down, but I'll do that another time, so I'll stick this in here for now. <clears throat> I 
Don't need that. Chuck all this stuff out. Okay, good. Alamite, yeah. We'll feed that into the Alamite tank. Wasn't too much in there. All right, let's go test this um this cleaver out. Actually, before I do that, what I was gonna do is um this one that tells me. Modifiers. Uh, what I want to do is put an electric modifier on this one. Uh, let me just see what we need for that. Auto repair. We don't want that so much. Okay, so I think that's available from Industrial Craft 2. Yeah, that's what we want there, I think. Uh, cool, so we need a battery and a circuit. Have I got that stuff already? That's not charged up, but it might not matter. And a circuit, a regular circuit. Let's see if this is going to work. <clears throat> Battery in a circuit. Nice. So I have to charge this thing up. Probably because I used a flat battery. But I should be able to just chuck this in here. Yep. Holds 10,000 a year, which isn't that much, but if I'm wearing the nano chest plate, it should charge it for me while it's in my hot bar. Hopefully. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's go um try this out on some withers. But actually, there's one other thing that I want to make. Um, let me just check any eye for this. Mining fatigue. What? Mining fatigue three. Mining fatigue three. Oh, that must be because this has got stone bound on it or something. But that shouldn't matter because um, because it's got uh, it's it's a weapon. We're not going to be mining stuff with this. Okay, so um, let me see. Industrial. I think it's an industrial craft item that I want here. Let me see. I've been meaning to make this for a while, actually. If I can find which mod it's in. Can't see it there. It might have been Buildcraft, actually. Um, let's just have a look. Seven pages of Buildcraft. This is all... Uh, this looks... Spawner Wrench. Shift for more information. So this absorbs a mob spawner on shift right click and releases it again on right click. So I thought that would be an easier way than trying to use like the uh, gravi gravity gun or the portal gun to pick up spawners and transfer them. So this is two diamonds, a redstone. What's this thing called? Spawner wrench. Okay, let's try and make it in here. Spawner wrench. Okay, we got those. We just need to make complex. Oh, hang on. Assembly table. Is anyone there? Okay, we might need an assembly table for this. Assembly table. Um. This guy here. Wow, this is very expensive. Yeah, let's do that. I can't say thanks. What just happened? Shut up and fight. Okay, that might be a project for another day, guys, because uh, I want to get some stuff done. So we will just uh, use 
Maybe the gravity gun. Where have I put it? Have I got it on me? Seem to be there. Is anyone there? What am I done with a gravity gun? <laughs> um. Oh, there it is. All right, let's uh leave this here. I'll put this guy in there as well, and uh, we'll go get another spawner. I think another uh, skeleton spawner. So we'll be taking this to the Nether. Let me just open up all the doors I'll need. That one will open up for me. Yeah, it would have been a lot easier if I'd got that tool, me, but what are you going to do? So <laughs> I think we'll get more spawning in if we have two, obviously, than if we just leave it at the one. Let's just zip across to this, um, this mine over here. Actually use my jetpack again, which is awesome. Okay, so we'll go grab another skeleton spawner if I can find one. So I've got to head east to get out of here, got to remember that. That's a zombie one. Dead end. Come on, I want a skeleton one. Zombie. Might have to go down to the next level. There's blazes. That's spiders, I think. Okay, I will have to go down to the next level, I think. Um, if I can find where it, here, where it is over here. Okay, that's spiders. Here we go. Thank you very much. Can I fly while I'm holding this, maybe? Then we were going to get out of here by going east. What did I just do? Did I just... I think I just destroyed the door. That kind of sucks. We'll have to fix that at some point. Okay, so we'll head to the nether with this and uh, see if we can't get a bunch of wither skeleton heads going. Could you come over here? Let me through, damn it. Um, one level up. Could you come over Two levels up, actually. Come on, let me, let me up. Let's just fly up, shall we? Okay. Here we go. Please don't crash the world on me. Ouch. What the heck was that? Okay, so plonk this down right next to this one, I guess. And let's get our cleaver out. So it's doing 19 damage. I guess that's not too bad. It's not a one-hit kill like my Nano Saber is, but it's still pretty powerful. And I should get some health back as well from the um, what's it called? Uh, life steal, life steal um, modifier that I have. Yep, 
Yep. Just spawning nice and fast. Yeah, I could probably do with another, uh... With another, um... Model fire of sharpness on this. Gotta watch my health here. Have we got any heads? We've got three already, guys. And there's a regular skeleton one. You know what I could probably do with on this is luck as well. Um, I'm not sure whether I should put luck or if I should put sharpness on it with the final modifier. So we'll get probably about nine, uh, nine with the skeleton skulls if I can. Give me your head. Ouch. Dude! Seven. So yeah, this should make quick work of getting some uh, skulls happening. Because of the life still on this, I might not even have to worry about another sharpness. I might just put a luck on this to get more drops. I don't know if that applies to heads or not, but at least we get more necrotic bones. Just turn my jetpack off. Come on, spawn in. Pretty cool hit. Seven. They're not dropping their heads now. Eight. So yeah, it's pretty it's pretty quick. It's pretty quick. I like it. I like it a lot. One more and we'll um go back to the overworld. I don't think I've ever got any skeleton skulls before. That's pretty cool. I probably shouldn't have used that, uh, I think it was Alamite for the handle. Retrospect. Anyway, I've got nine of these now. Uh, we'll just kill the next batch that come in and then we'll head back to the overworld. Wow, that was a lot. Die, skeleton. Okay, let's head back. So yeah, it works pretty good, this cleaver. I enjoy it. I enjoy using it to decapitate my enemies. Hey, uh, so we've got 12, 12 skulls in the end. Get down from here. It's a shame you can't enchant this Tinker's Construct stuff as well. That would be really, really good. Alright. So, there's a few ways I can use these now, or there's a couple of ways I can use these now to get nether stars. But, I thought we would make a pretty cool weapon um, from one of the mods that I have called Rival Rebels. And see how effective this is going to be. Uh, if I can remember what it's called. Um... Not there. Let's just have a look in any eye. Rival Rebels. So this has some really cool stuff in it. Uh, what I thought we'd try is the... the oh, what's that? 
Cuchillo. Is that a sword of some sort? Look how cheap it is. We might make the iron stand. This looks pretty beast mode. Now, how do you spell that? Iron dash stand. So we'll make the various components for this. Steel. A battery. All of this stuff is pretty cheap to make. Hang on, what's that? Rod. How many of those do I need? Okay, maybe it's not that cheap. I think we need a couple of these things. One, two. And we need some more pliers. The iron stand! <laughs> Epicness. Let's just chuck some of this stuff. Oh, we got a trophy as well. I didn't even notice that. Oh, I got spare pliers. Oh, well. Awesome. That's a skeleton trophy. Let's stick this guy somewhere. Um, I'm running out of room here on my trophy shelf. Have I got another mantelpiece around here? Not really. Uh, where will I put this guy? I might put him over here. What does this one do? I thought the skeleton shot an arrow, but it's not doing anything when I click on him. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I, mean, I don't think you can pick them up, but that's still pretty cool. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, yeah, so we have our Einstein gun. Check, it, check out this thing, guys. So we might actually spawn in a wither somewhere. Um, we'll go somewhere away. Actually, what am I? I'm going to need some stuff here, aren't I? Um, we need some soul sand, isn't it? So, one, two, three, four. I think that's all we need. I'll put this sword back um, down stairs. So we don't need that right now. I'll use my nano saber, I guess, if I get into trouble. And I've got the gravity gun as well. We'll see how this thing goes. How cool does it look though? <laughs> as soon as I saw this thing, like, uh, I was like, oh, I gotta get this for sure. There we got that. Um, I should put these skeletons' skulls somewhere as well. Love how it's got one red eye, like the Terminator. Okay, let's summon the Wither, see if we can take care of him. I Why haven't I got all my hearts back here? We should, should regen those things. Alright. Lightning! I want to do this in daylight. I'm going to go sleep first. Okay. Yeah, I accidentally planted one of those, well, it wasn't accidental, if I'm honest, but <laughs> I planted one of the magic oak or whatever it was called that I got in a chest somewhere, and it was huge, guys. It was so big that uh, I wanted to get rid of it, so I set it on fire, and now these 
these things are still hanging around. I don't know how to... Hopefully they'll fall, otherwise I'll have to get rid of every single one manually. That's why those things are up there. Um, where will we go for this? Let's head... Um, let's take a look at the map. We might head out to like a snow or an ice biome or something. This biome over here. We'll spawn him in over here and take him out. I've got my long fall boots and my jetpack on anyway. I probably should have charged up my armor a little bit. I can still do that remotely, actually. Let's just chuck my armor in there. Charge up for me. Actually, I might head over to that cliff area instead. Because I'm not really going to care if he blows that up too much. We haven't really been up top here because it was too high. I don't know if there's going to be any dungeons up here or not. But this might be a cool place to do the battle. Let's have a look right up top here. Still not regening my extra hearts. Maybe that'll happen when I'm in combat. I can't remember how it works exactly. Let's find a good spot to do this. Yeah, we might do it up right up top here. This is where we'll build him. Should we battle him on a cloud? <laughs> oh no, I'm just going to... Wait, I'm stuck in this. I thought these were solid. Obviously not. I will battle him right here. So let's... um. I think this is right. I haven't built a wither for a while. Oops. Give me your head back. Oh, there we go. Uh, he's going to explode. Oh god, I actually forgot to put, I forgot to put my, um, armor on. <laughs> Let me just quickly grab that back. He's withering me. Uh, wait, what did I just do? Oh my god, did I just... Oh no, it's still there, it's still there, it's all good. Let's put this on. <laughs> I thought I put it in the white, in the pouch. Alright, oh wait, this isn't... Redstone rods? Okay, I obviously need to power that thing up. Two can play that game, my friend. There you go. Oh my god. I need to eat. Where's he going? He looks pretty cool in this texture pack, I gotta say. Hanging out out in a cloud trying to hide from me up here. Oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna die. No. Let's hide around the back here until we heal up. Where is he? He's up there somewhere. Did I bring my bow? Let's try the bow out.
Has he got shielding on or something? I don't think I'm doing much damage to him right now. Okay, we should be good. Let's try again. Yes! We got him! So, he should have dropped a nether star for me somewhere. Let's just see if we've got it. There it is. It actually is called a nether cube in this texture pack, BD Craft. But that is the nether star right there. We'll have to get some extra ones as well so I can make um, a pretty beast. Um, what are they called? Uh, uh, beacon? <laughs> Which way do we go home? This way. I should keep an eye out for jungle as well. So we can um, put down a, a mine somewhere. But uh, yeah, we got a nether, nether cube. So I might actually upgrade um, upgrade another modifier onto, say, the cleaver or something. So much better having a... Uh, so this thing obviously takes redstone rods. I didn't really research this mod, but, um, well, that's pretty cool, because it would be OP if it was just, like, unlimited ammo. Yeah, that, I'm going to have to get rid of all that, all those leaves up there. Um, let's see here, so redstone rods. Redstone rod. One. So, so do I combine that with this or? Let's try. Not enough redstone rods, said. Maybe I keep that in my inventory or something. Oh, there we go. So I must use that as like the ammo pack or something. Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, it's a shame we didn't have this thing before. I guess we could make another wither and kill him with it. Open for me. Uh, let's see. Alright, so. Let's go down and add a modifier. Um, what I might add is a luck modifier with some lapis. Because I think that for what it does, I think that the cleaver is actually... Probably just about strong enough, so we put this guy in here. Where is it? Cleaver. And then I'll put the this guy on. And then I want to put lapis. Um, 30 of 450. Let's rename it as well, I'll call it... The Guillotine. Is that... Do I spell that right? I think there's another I in there somewhere. I don't know. That's probably right. Apologize if it's wrong if you're a French person watching this, but... Let's 
takes a lot of lapis. Okay, that must be it. Luck and looting three. So this thing is going to be pretty amazing for getting heads and stuff now, which is awesome. Okay, well, there is another way that I can actually get uh, a nether star as well, guys, that I'm going to show you. There's actually two other ways, I believe. And uh, if we go in here and we go nether star... Um, I can use a diamond sword, so if we make one of those, so this takes, uh, let's see, two diamonds for that, a bow, which I've probably got already, so let's see if we can, let's see if we can make this, uh, mm, okay, I might have to do it manually. Heads with a. Why is there only one there? I had more than that. Uh. Could you come over here? We use three of them. This is the. Oh, there they are. Thank you. <laughs> Where the hell did I put those things? So this should work now. Nether. And... No? Can't shift click, click this, apparently. So put a bow there. And then the rest was uh, soul sand. So we can just craft them directly like that, which takes three diamonds. Which is, oh, hang on. Peaceful mode only. We can't. Okay, cool. Fair enough. But there is another way you can do it with a mod that I've got loaded called uh, uh, Mr. G Reaper's Star Mod. And this is pretty crazy, and uh, I found it very, very funny as well to read his descriptions for the steps for this. So I'm going to read you guys what his steps are. Um, basically, what you need first up. Uh, he says, first you need to make a corpse of a bunny. You do this with carrots, so we need carrots. You come over here. And we put these here like this. And, uh, and with dirt. He says, every carrot contains 25% dormant bunny DNA absorbed from close proximity to the evil little critters. Uh, he says, place them in the corners as shown. So I'm looking at the website here. And dirt in the center, natural home and lair of the vile creatures. So that gives you a lifeless bunny. Evil incarnate. Are you sure you want to raise it? Yes, I do. So get a couple of those bunnies inactive so we got a couple more division sigils there um some necrotic bones and all that let's get rid of some of that stuff Alrighty. okay so the next step anyway it says you will then need the tear of an orphan nothing has more concentrated power than the tears of a small orphan known cohorts of the bunny empire yeah apparently <laughs> this recipe uses the ender pearl to transport the flint and glass jar to the real world realm where the flint seeks out the nearest orphan with a balloon and pops it. The balloon, not the orphan. So we need flint. Uh, let's just get six of those. 
and we need an empty glass bottle or two. And we need some ender pearls. So the recipe uh, asks that we place the ender pearls there, um, the glass bottles down the bottom, and the flint along there like that. <clears throat> so it says, the glass collects the tears of the orphan and is hurtled back to the Minecraft world through a process known as glass unskilled transmogrification. It becomes a tear and the glass is lost. Hold the tear to your ear and you can hear the distant cry of an orphan. So we, <laughs> we have the tear of an orphan. Plus 10 evil, which is always good. I wish I could add that to my sword. It would be beast. So what you do with the orphan ear, using the power of redstone. So let's get some redstone. I think we need just, just um, regular redstone dust. It says, using the power of redstone, focus through the four diamonds. So we need four diamonds for each one. So put these in the, in the corners, I believe. We put the redstone here like this. It says, uh, so getting back to the process. Um, focus through the four diamonds. You infuse the lifeless bunny with the power from the orphan tear. And you have in your hands one of nature's most evil creations, the bunny. So be warned, I will not be held responsible for the evil cr this creature may wreak across your world. So uh, then we have to put the tear of the orphan in the top. And there's a living bunny. It twitches its nose in a threatening manner. <laughs> so let's make a couple of these, these evil creatures. Okay, now the last step that we have to do is place the bunny into a furnace or furnace-like device, making sure it cannot escape. The pure evil inside the creature will be crystallized around the diamond particles left from the life-giving stage and will form a nether star. The bunny itself is burned away and returns to the nether that once spawned it. So uh, if we go over to our redstone furnace and chuck in the bunny, we get a nether star. <laughs> I just love that mod just for the story behind it. So there we have two nether stars. And we can add some more modifiers, so if we go over to our smelter again, now I wanted to take this guy, Cap and Jim's Cutlass, so for this we've put sharpness on this and we've just put an auto repair on it, nothing else, because I want pure damage on this one. And we have one modifier left on this. And what I was thinking of going for was another one of sharpness, and then when we put the nether, nether star onto this, because we've already used the diamond and gold block, I believe we've already used the diamond and gold block. Let's just double check that. Pretty sure we did. Uh, yeah, we've already done that. Hang on, that's not gold. This is gold. Yeah, we've already done that, so we can't do it again. But uh, what I'm going to do with this is put another sharpness on this. So I'll grab some quartz. And it's probably going to take quite a lot of quartz because we've already put quite a lot of modifiers of quartz on this already. So I'll max out the quartz on this. How are we going with the damage on this? Eight hearts. Pretty decent. Um, 287. 288. Okay, so that's it. That's as many modifiers as we can put on this until we put another cube, which will give us one more modifier. So what I'm going to put on this is a life steal because I thought that was a pretty cool, that was a pretty cool enchant. Um, let me just chuck this back in here. Uh, not enchant, what am I saying? A pretty cool modifier. So I need a necrotic. Um, the other thing that, 
that might be good is a flint a flint um because flint what flint does is I don't think this book will tell us but it adds like a damn the more it loses um the more it use it loses its durability um the more damage it does but um with the th with the moss on it it might already keep up with the durability so I'm not sure if that would be a good idea or not to be honest um I'm a bit torn between trying that out and putting the necrotic bone on there. But if we put the life steal, I think that'd be pretty cool to have the life steal on there. We might go with the life steal. We can try the flint on another weapon. I might make a rapier. <clears throat> so yeah, that looks pretty cool. It's got like the um It's got like the uh green the green handle wide guard. I think that looks pretty beast mode. So um, let's just see how many hearts that was. I think it was 8 still. 8.5. 8 8.5 hearts. Let's go try it out on a mob if we can find one. Um, actually, I might chuck some stuff in here to smelt up for me while I'm, while I'm uh, away. Let's just chuck some electrum. I just want to put some gold in there. Um, put the rest in here. I've been trying to get a little bit of each material into the tanks here, so that gold's gonna go right in there for me. Beautiful. Okay, let's go find a mob if we can. We might even try this out on another wither skeleton. Still, uh, still uh, light out there. Um. Soul sand. Yeah, let's go fight another wither skeleton. I think that would be pretty cool. Where will we go this time? We might go back to the same sort of area. Just because that stone is fairly blast resistant, I think. We'll try this guy out on him. Probably not going to be as powerful as the nano saber. It might be though, it might be, it might be getting close. I think this is like, I think this is 10 hearts though. But um, the good thing is that this won't have to get recharged ever. It should just um, repair itself slowly over time with that uh, moss ball. Okay. We'll go down here this time, into this valley down here. And I'll try and use my iron stand on him as well, see what, see how that goes. Try and see how much damage I'm doing with this. Oh, we've got yet another... Oh, 16? I guess that's not too bad. We'll see how we go with it. Okay, here we go. Get out of it, zombie. Boom. He's going to blow up. Okay, where is he? Where'd he go? There he is over there. He must be killing the zombies or something. Come back here with her. I cannot see a thing in this cave here. Oh, I'm taking damage.
Yeah, we did it. <laughs> Let's kill these zombies with this since I didn't use it on him. Okay, let's go out here where we can see what we're doing. Oh, I'm out already? <gasps> oh, creeper. Get out of it. So one hit kills creepers, which is pretty good. Oh god. I need to put some torches down over there. Let me just see if I got... No, I didn't pick it up. So that's an empty rod. We must be able to recharge that. Alright, where's my drill? So, yeah, I guess it takes redstone to recharge it, I'm guessing, since it's called a redstone rod. That would be a fairly safe assumption. Okay, we need to find... Uh-oh. I need to find the nether... Oh, there's a heart there. We've got a bunch of stuff. Damn, guys. They're just respawning constantly in here. I gotta hit him in the head, I think, otherwise, um, let me just sort out some stuff. Oh, I picked it up, and I got the heart as well. Dudes aren't doing too much damage to me with this armor on. So I think we got everything that we wanted to get. Let's get out of here. Sick of being used as a pin cushion. by those skeletons... So this is on 98 right now, this, um, this cutlass. Oh, uh, you know what this means, guys, with that heart? We should be able to make, um, another heart canister as well, which is really, really cool. So yeah, this is pretty good. Um, an extra sharpness on it probably would have been good as well, but you can't have everything. <laughs> The good thing is I can just regenerate health with this, especially with a lot of little enemies. Which is pretty awesome. But uh, this is probably where gonna, where we're going to leave it for this episode. Uh, for making nether stars in the future, I'll probably be um, using that mod. The... Uh, Mr. G Reaper's star mod to uh, to generate them rather than fighting with us all the time because I don't really need to have more of these division sigils. Let's chuck some of this stuff in here. I should probably put some of those uh, zombie brains up to turn into jerky and we'll quickly make a heart canister if we can. Yeah. So now I've got double the health with that heart canister. Ten. I wonder how many you can put in there. <laughs> if you can keep going. It'd be good if you could. Oh, let's just check as well to see how we recharge the, the rod. Redstone. Oh, okay. So it only uses one redstone. So it'd be worth taking redstone with me when I'm using that. put it in here for now. It didn't seem too OP either. Okay, we'll put that in there. Put that in there. Gold's all melted for me. 
So this is where we'll probably leave it for today, guys. Uh, look at how many arrows I got in me from those guys back there. Uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. It was pretty fun killing those withers and everything and getting those new weapons and stuff. So hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. But for now, that is where we will leave it. Sleepy Jim out. Thanks for watching.